Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We are doing your daily reading for Monday, September 12th, 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I am truly grateful for each and every one of you. So let's just have a look and see what messages, what energies are coming out for you guys in your day ahead. Let's have a look. Messages for people watching, please. Whoops, thank you. Got one leapfrogging across the table. Gotta like it when that happens. There we go. Okay. We have coming in, we have the man card. We have the bear. And we also have the key. Ooh, this is actually really quite interesting energy. Now, the man card that's coming in here, this can either represent you if you're a male or have the masculine energy around you, or this can be a person that you're dealing with today, either someone that is male or someone that does have that masculine energy prevailing for the day. Okay, so whether this is you or someone that you are dealing with today, they may actually have some answers and solutions for you on your path, um, something to do with your career, something to do with your money, okay, or even just a really powerful, strong person, maybe influential in your day to day, maybe somebody that you're um, dealing with, someone important in your world, um, with the bear here, right here, this can be a manager um, that you're dealing with, okay, your boss, okay, big boss kind of energy, and with the key card here, they may have an answer, they may have something for you, something that you need, okay. Okay, something that you um, have been waiting for perhaps okay or maybe you're discovering some information the key card here is where we find answers where we find solutions okay it's the big yes card as well the bear brings in strength brings in power authority okay but it also brings success in here for you as well as a person this can either be that you have the opportunity here you may find some opportunity to improve your situation situation in some way, whether you're getting, um, you know, opening a door, um, you know, op uh, like op literally opening a door, <laughs> um, you may be, um, you know, discovering an opportunity or discovering some information, but whatever it is here, there is some very powerful and strong energy that's coming in here, leading you on your path to success. Okay. This may be someone that you partner up with. Okay. But you may be opening the doors to new opportunities and to your true potential coming in here. Someone could actually give you a yes answer that you're also been waiting for. Okay, it might be something to do with your money. Um, with the bear card being very closely tied to your finances or your job. Okay, but whatever your situation happens to be, that answer looks like one of a yes. Okay. Um, or it could just be that you're getting an answer it might not necessarily be what you want. Okay. But at least it allows you to move forward. Let's see what else we've got coming in here for you. We've got the seven of cups, the nine of pentacles, and we've also got the five of swords coming out here for you. Okay. So you might have a choice to make. You might have some decisions to make. The seven of cups here is where we're um, using our imagination a little bit. There might be something that you're dreaming about, something that you're fantasizing about, okay? Or it could just be that you've got some options, you've got some choices to consider. The seven of cups, sometimes we can procrastinate because you need to make some sort of decision or you are waiting on a decision, okay? And that seven of cups, you could sometimes, sometimes be afraid of making the wrong choice. Okay, or you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but the nine of pentacles brings in an energy of success, of taming your anxieties, your fears, of getting the answers, of finding your solutions, and of exerting a little bit of independence. It's getting what you have worked for or getting what you um, are wanting to achieve, okay? And this is where you are whew, just living in the lap of luxury, so to speak, okay? So again, you could just be getting answers, some solutions. You might be making a final decision whatever that happens to be for you the nine of pentacles is that energy of independent success like I did it and I did something because of my effort because of my dedication because of my determination to get what I'm looking for or to get things back on track I am seeing a little bit of an energy here where someone may be after um, some sort of 
some sort of like promotion or um, maybe a raise or something that you've been wanting or something that you've been working hard towards, okay, or you might be put in charge of something like a lead project or something like that with the Five of Swords coming out here, there may be a little bit of conflict, okay? The Five of Swords is where we um, need to watch our P's and Q's a little bit. We need to kind of watch what we say. Uh, we do currently have Mercury in retrograde, so there may be some uh, window for misunderstandings. Okay, coming in, a little bit of uh, verbal conflict may come in there, so just watch what you say, because it's quite often those last final words, those last final digs that we get in that we can't take back, and those are the things that hurt the most sometimes. But the Five of Swords can be an energy of victory, okay, but it's one where it's a little bit of a double-edged sword, okay? So you might actually get something that you've been looking for, but someone else may lose out. Okay, just saying because, you know, let's say you are looking for a promotion or you want to be um, in charge of a project or maybe you're getting some sort of recognition um, in your world today. Okay, there's maybe someone here that either feels that they've missed out. Um, you might get a yes, but someone else might get a no, okay? Or there might be even, maybe even a little bit of jealousy because the bear brings in this big, bad success, okay? But also with a little bit of envy coming in there as well. And with the five of swords making an appearance, there may be someone that's a little bit jealous or envious of you in some way because of what you're achieving and because of your um, accomplishments, okay? So if you get some recognition um, or rewards or some kind um, in your day ahead, okay, you've worked hard to achieve it, but someone else may be a little bit um, hurt over that, okay? So just kind of uh, keep your P's and Q's about you with that one, okay? But I think here that, you know, really your prevailing energy is this one of success, so don't let anything keep you down. Don't let anything derail you from your goals today, okay? Because you do have a lot of positive things coming in for you, okay? And again, there might be kind of a little bit of, a, you know, inner conflict or doubt that comes in there, a chance for maybe some miscommunication. So just make sure that you know what you want to say before you say it and don't blurt out anything that you may regret. We've got the Ace of Pentacles coming in here as your advice from Spirit. If you are looking to try something new, there are answers, there's solutions, there's information, there's offers, there's opportunities that are available for you. The Ace of Pentacles brings about a little bit of luck. So you could have a little bit of luck on your side today and we do see a lot of this great energy that's coming in for you. But if you're in a situation where you don't necessarily love where you are, it's filled with, you know, um, it's filled with some tension, it's filled with conflict, it's filled with like a lot of uncertainties and some doubts there. You might be imagining something new, something better, and you just may be unlocking your true potential here. So keep the doors of opportunity open. Okay, there's options, there's opportunities out there for you. And sometimes you just need to trust yourself that you are making the right decision. There's, you're making the right choice. But whether you're finding new opportunities here or maybe you just have a little bit of a lucky break, okay, there is something new and exciting there, even some information, some acquired knowledge perhaps there, okay, something either new or improved coming in there for you with the Ace of Pentacles. We have the blessings headed your way as the Two of Wands, the ability to take an idea and run with it, to put a plan in place and to move forward with it, to remove obstacles, to remove blocks, and to keep your options open, an open mind, right? This Two of Wands is an energy of expansion and growth, okay? So I think here you're maybe getting some insights or some deeper understanding of something, um, but again, I think here that you are following through with some plans, okay, and you are getting things on on track, whether you're looking for something new or just make those little minor adjustments in your day. Okay, the world is your oysters, a lot of opportunities, and there's a lot of potential that is opening up for you, especially with that ace of pentacles. I mean, if you're looking for a new job, a new career, or some new information, acquire new skills, new knowledge, whatever, okay, the two of wands, right? Time to get a plan in motion, time to get a plan in place there and follow your goals and follow your dreams, right? For some of you, this is just really small on a daily basis. 
basis, right? Just, okay, this is what, this is the one thing I need to get done today. Okay. And even if you accomplish one thing today, it's probably more than some other people have done. Okay. But for others of you, this is a little bit bigger, um, that's coming in there for you. Something a little bit more impactful, something that's a little bit more, um, a little bit, uh, how shall we say, longer lasting. Okay. So for some of you, you are thinking of the big picture today, right? We want this big successful energy coming in. Okay. So, um, with that bear energy, quite often being a leadership, like a manage manager, like a boss energy, perhaps you are looking to, for ways to improve your situation. And perhaps you are wanting to step into and finding, you want to find those opportunities to step into a leadership role. Okay. Something that, you know, is, um, uh, more in alignment with your long-term goals and your dreams. And you just might be finding something. If you take some steps, take some action, you just might be finding um, what it is you're looking for, your overall outcome of the day. We've got the King of Pentacles taking the lead, being diligent, and getting what it is you're looking for. The King of Pentacles is very successful energy, very abundant energy, okay? But is also very down-to-earth and practical, especially in matters of money, of career. The Kings are all always leaders. All right. The Kings take the lead, the bear leadership energy, managerial energy. So perhaps here for some of you that you have upped your game a little bit, your plans are coming to fruition. You're getting everything done and everything's on track. You got this sense of accomplishment coming in for others of you. I think here that you do have the opportunity and the ability to find, um, new opportunities that are very much in alignment with your long-term goals. The King of Pentacles can also represent a very helpful person. It is that masculine energy and that appeared right here at the beginning of your reading as well. So there might be someone around you that is, you know, that is someone that maybe you look up to, someone you might partner up with, okay, or someone that um, you may work well together with um, either in your current world or maybe you're finding this person out there somewhere but they may hold the key to your future, okay, to your financial abundance and success, all right? But whatever that looks like for you, it certainly is uh, looking like a fairly positive day. So I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope it was something here that resonated with you on some level. If so, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.